Hello everyone, I am back with another devlog and I have decided that moving forward I'm going to do the video devlogs only once per chapter unless something interesting or exciting pops up. As I feel the process might kind of feel a bit repetitive after a while because it's put in script, write, <laughs> write code, art, rinse and repeat, you know, kind of stuff, whatever. Um, but now if you're like a Patreon member, you already know about the prologue since, uh, it has been released there. However, I'm hoping to release the prologue or uh, also calling it the demo publicly on June 7th, 2024. Just so, you know, if someone's seeing this in the future, they're like, oh, is it something new? No, it's tr this year. <laughs> um, and it's going to be kind of like a gift to me and to you because that's also my birthday, baby. <laughs> Um, and that brings me to today's devlog. Um, so what happened since the last time? Well, a lot, actually. Uh, so let me tell you. So I created, uh, the character art you saw last time I was working on the main character, which was Colleen. I have finished her. I have finished, uh, her two friends, which is Brandon and Sarah. And I've also finished, uh, Noah. All of the background art is done, which I think it was done last time as well. There's been a little bit of adjustments here and there. Not too much. Nothing you would probably really notice. I would notice. You wouldn't notice. <laughs> As the artist, I would notice that. It's, just, it's like a little line right there. Yeah, no, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. It needed that one little line. And the whole thing was ruined. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. But I've uh, rigged them and I set them in the game. I also put way too much work and effort into giving them breath um because the story takes place kind of in the wintry time or just about winter time and it's cold out and i wanted to express that i made sure that the kind of mood seemed a bit more like darker like overcast cold i used some blues to make it feel like it's like cold out and i really wanted it to feel like winter was coming like she mentions it but also so i added a little breath so you can kind of see, you know, and I, I don't know, it's a little touch. No one I don't think would notice if I didn't come right out and say it, but I'm coming out and saying it. <laughs> uh, so look at the breath. Um, I've also um, added in music, sound effects. I think last time I had a placeholder song, but I, it has since been replaced. Um, I think all the sound effects are pretty much the same. I've adjusted the UI sound. I really didn't like it before, but now I have a hover sound. So when you hover over things, like you know what you're selecting. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should do a sound just on click and not on hover. But for me, I like to know like, oh, I'm hovering on something. Because what originally happened was, is when I was uh, playing through the game, like I would just be like click, clicking through, you know, click, click, click it. And every so often my mouse would move and I'd end up hitting like a back button or the auto button or some other button. And I didn't realize it because I wasn't paying attention to where my mouse was. I was just trying to click to the next screen, next card. Um, so having the like little noise is like an indicator. Oh, I'm on top of something. So that's why if you're wondering, um, cause I've had someone tell me like, oh, it's annoying. You need to get rid of it. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to keep it because I feel this is needed. So it's not overly powerful or loud and only if you just like keep going back and forth over items where you're really going to like have it come off as annoying, I feel. So for me, that's why that's there. <laughs> um, now about the menu. So, okay, listen, listen, uh, I have added a kind of fancier font for my game. Like the opening kind of has this like really fancy font and inside has like this like kind of handwritten flowy font. Now I, I really wanted this. I really wanted a handwritten style font to kind of add to the whimsy because the game is supposed to take place in like an alternate world that's kind of modern but also magical. And I wanted that whimsy to carry through. Also since it was loosely based off of a fairy tale, I wanted that also to come through with the whimsy. That being said, Handwritten fonts are not always the easiest to read. I understand this. I myself have dyslexia and sometimes have trouble reading certain fonts. So I am very well aware. <laughs> so I have limited it to the menu only. Like you have the opening main, main menu and then you have the settings page. That's where I have them. And 
I've also made it so you can click something called what I call the accessibility font to make it easier to read for people who might have a reading disability. It uses Arial font, which is the top free font that people use if you have dyslexia. It's a little boring, I know, but I don't actually like the dyslexia font. I find it's too stylized and has too much character. And that character doesn't fit the theme of my game. So I'd rather go with something a bit maybe boring, if you will, with the Arial font. Um, although I've also heard Comic Sans is like a great one too, but I'm not using Comic Sans. I'm not using Comic Sans. Inside the game, there's a different font. It's still very much easy to read. There shouldn't be a problem with it. I've only had one person complain, but they literally complained about everything in the game. So I'm taking their feedback with a grain of salt. Um, that being said, like if there's enough feedback that's like, ah, oh, I, I can't with this, this whatever, like the aerials, like too bad to read. Uh, first question, because like that's what a lot of people use for a dyslexic font. And for the game inside, the only fancy font you really have is the names, which to be fair, aren't super duperly important, but, you know, they're important enough. Um, but speaking of, like, characters and character names, slightly off topic, but I'm going to use it as a segue. Um, characters. We have characters, and they have voices now. Like, before I had placeholder voices um, for one of the characters, but now I have more. I've hired some voice actors, and the first voice actor I hired was... Alejandro Arias, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I am really bad at pronouncing names. He is the voice of Brandon. Uh, if you don't know, like, I'm friends with him, and he has also done the voice of Pom Pom, which is my uh, Twitch redeem, uh, where Pom Pom comes up and goes, Pom Pom! <laughs> he is the voice of that. He's also done uh, voices in some other games, like, I think, Dislight. Dis dis Dislight? Dislight, yeah. Um... I also hired um, an actress, Blair Green Osako. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing names. I'm really bad at names. It's why I get really hesitant welcoming people because I never know how to pronounce people's names. But um, she did a, an amazing job as the voice of Sarah. Um, I think she's also done... She did, she did the voice of like Amanda in that Amanda horror game. Thing. I don't know. I never played the game. I've heard it. I've listened to like her works. Very good. Amazing. She's awesome. Uh, Alejandro, awesome. They did a fantastic fucking job and I really appreciate them. Uh, also, I really appreciate my friend Asu who stepped in to be the temporary voice for Noah who appears on screen just once this time but will show up in later chapters. So I didn't really want to hire somebody now for one sound and then like five four or five chapters down the line higher uh, um them again like i feel like yeah might as well do like a, the big umbrella thing you know what i mean uh which is what i'm kind of hoping for once i start pushing ahead is to get like big segments done at the same time so that way i can have things kind of like all gears turning it's going to take a little bit more of organization from my part, which usually I, I'm the type of person who does, I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. But then this time I need to have all things running at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> um, but also for their voices, I might've mentioned it before, but I didn't want fully acted lines. Instead, I only wanted efforts and efforts are the grunt sounds are like, Ugh, mm, uh huh. Oh, hmm. And some people might find that distracting and be like, oh, I want you just have the full lines acted. Well, I was reading around on online about like people's preferences and people often said who read a lot of like um, visual novels is that they don't actually like full lines read out because it slows down the progress or the pace of the game game because you're it's being dictated by how the lines are read so this way you're getting a little bit of personality and audio to associate with each character but you're not feeling kind of dragged down and also it'll help you like kind of associate which lines being spoken with which character because there'll be like a sound and then their line that's spoken if there is no audio then it's probably an inner monologue type of thing
So uh, also part of my reasoning behind it. And I hope that is conveyed and I hope people <laughs> like it. Um, I do. I really like um, efforts and games. Uh, I do like full audio as well, but I think that's pretty good for when it comes to games like this. Uh. Oh? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now for the last, uh, let's say about week, I have been battling to get my game up on Steam. Uh, or at least get a Steam page up and going, which it finally is, so you can actually go and wishlist it right now. And the demo will also be released through there. That being said, getting the game on Steam was a heck of a lot more complicated and involved than I ever thought it would be. I thought it was going to be, oh, you upload your graphics, you just fill out your description, you upload your game, publish. You think that would be it, and yes, it is what it is, but there's way more to it. Like... It is not only do you have these graphics, but then you have these graphics. And not only do you have to upload the game here, you have to also like dictate what's the launcher for each platform. And then you have to like fill out all this and for us uh, so much work. I've spent so much time <laughs> uh, getting these set up and like you have to do one for your um, your main game page, which I did. And then since I wanted to release a demo, I had to basically do everything I had already done again for that. Also, I need to have a trailer before I can like release my final game, even though my final game's not ready yet. And when I do, uh, there will be a trailer. Trust me, there will be a trailer. It's not there yet, but there will be one. I promise you that. <laughs> um, yeah. So as, as it stands now, uh, I do have a steam thing up. Oh, I have finally got the AOK, -okay, uh, for the demo or the prologue. Um, one of the things I'm kind of not sure on is if I want to make chapter one part of the demo or just have it bundled in with the main game. Now, there'll be plenty of chapters. Like, I'm, we're, we're looking at, like, 20-something chapters already. Like, I'm not, I'm not finished writing it yet. Like, there's, I'm still, like, working towards it. I got a little bit of a writer's blog. But, um... At this point, I have like 20 something chapters pre-written and ready and raring to go. So I feel like just having chapter one wouldn't be too bad. It'll also kind of give you a bit more of like, oh, what's going on type of thing. But we'll see how, how, how it goes. I don't know. You let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Should I release the chapter one as part of the demo or if it should be a uh, part of the main game? Always be plugging Patreon. We'll get the chapters for free. And basically I've been using them as my play testers. I give them forms that they can fill out and uh, they can give me back feedback so I can help kind of mold the game a bit. And I have been using things that people have been saying to kind of adjust things accordingly. Um, but that being said, like at the end of the day, it is still my game. And so there may be things that I might not change. Like the handwritten font. Like I want that whimsy font. It's my game. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I understand that people need stuff that's more accessible. So I added that in as kind of a reply to that. But it still keeps what I want. But it also allows for a change for other people. So that's my way of kind of doing a compromise. If I don't feel comfortable just doing it completely of what how people are suggesting, I will try to find a compromise. So I just hope people can kind of respect that a little bit and understand that, yeah, there's going to be some things that maybe they're not going to like. But ultimately, like, this is the game that I want to make and how I'm going to present it. Uh, but also, a uh, slightly tangent off topic, but not really off topic, is on the week of June 10th, I'm going to be kind of doing a week-long celebration slash fundraiser, subathon, marathon, whatever. I don't know. On Twitch. I might simul stream it over here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> I don't like simul streaming there. It's a... <laughs> but I might. Uh, but it's going to be the kind of celebrate my birthday, celebrate my six years, like, anniversary, streaming anniversary, of VTuber anniversary. I don't like the word VTuber, but you know, um, the launch of the demo and then to kind of help raise funds for, you know, the future voice actors, because I do right now, it was just a few, so it shouldn't, it wasn't too bad, but I do know that once the game starts getting underway and I have 
chapters of dialogue and voices that need to be done and music that needs to be done and stuff that needs to be done things are going to start to cost money also if you hear my dog in the background i am sorry i have a puppy for those of you who don't know this is a cute little bernadoodle like he is just a menace to society and like yes so he's also been taking up some of my time and he's also kind of stressful but like i digress if you hear him in the background that's what it is no worries he's gucci uh if you'd like to support me or support the game uh during that week you can stop by on twitch and you know if you want to uh support that way without feeling committed to like patreon or whatever like most appreciated if not if you just want to come by and watch uh me play some games or just hang out that's also cool and appreciated i think i'm finally going to get around to playing tears of the kingdom which have been on my back burner and i have been avoiding as many spoilers as possible so <laughs> i'm thinking that is the game i'm going to play uh yep mm-hmm Oh, and on top of that, I'm also going to be debuting a new model for that week. Hint, hint. It's Vroid. I had to prove to everyone that I still know how to use Vroid. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's basically it for this devlog. It might be short, it might be long. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. Yeah, no, I'm so... Yeah, no. <laughs> but... Uh, hopefully it gets across what I'm trying to say, and I hope you're excited for my game, and I'm also very nervous and self-conscious because this is something that I've put a lot of uh, hard work into, and I know that there's going to be a lot of critical people, but my, um, response to them is, is, I'm out here doing it. What are you doing? <laughs> Where's the work you're putting into it, you know what I mean? I'm out here making, I'm creating, I'm putting myself out there, I'm teaching myself new skills, I'm doing stuff, I'm not just sitting on my ass bitching about shit, so, yeah, <laughs> that's my mantra, that's what I'm trying to keep in my head, because I'm trying not to, like, let, uh, heavily negative comments, like, weigh me down, because, yeah, but I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah anyways that's it for this devlog uh thank you so much for hanging out and checking it out and i hope you will wishlist my game over on steam link will be in the description or on a card or everywhere i don't know and um um yeah i, I don't i don't know that's it okay bye i love you appreciate you bye